Hello everybody and welcome. So, as we know, the Faction Rally is coming up this week again and you can pledge your allegiance to one of either the three factions, New Monarchy, the Future War Cult or Dead Orbit. Now, whichever faction wins, they offer out the winner's prize to everybody. If you pledge to the winning faction, you get to buy it for just a thousand glimmer. However, if not, it will cost you 50,000 glimmer for this one-off weapon. The last rally was won by Dead Orbit and so their scout rifle was the winning offering and quite frankly, it was garbage. It had bad perks and was generally seen as a pointless weapon as there are so many others in the game like it or better. So on this, everybody missed out on the Pulse Rifle from Future War Cult and the Sidearm from New Monarchy, both of which had great perks and looked just as good, especially considering the bland looking Dead Orbit weapons that were available. So, as to not have this happen again, I have come up with a great idea so that we get a chance at getting the sweet looking sword from New Monarchy or the cool fusion rifle from the Future War Cult. There is a way that everybody can get the Dead Orbit winner's offering for free in the game without pledging to Dead Orbit or grinding the tokens out for them. There is a near identical version of this weapon. It's easy to obtain and in my opinion is just all around better. So again we are looking at adventure specific loot and this time at the mission No Safe Distance. This mission is set in the top left of the European Dead Zone and it has you enter the base of the Cabal and blow up a few of the Cabal's dropships. Again, this is another fun side mission to complete, even if you're not fussed about the loot. On completing this mission, you will get a guaranteed drop of the rare grenade launcher, Harsh Language. So if you look at it, it is identical in looks to the Dead Orbit reward offering, the Truth Teller. The only difference is here being the Black Powder Magazine perk and the Quick Draw perk of the Dead Orbit variant. In all honesty, the harsh language grenade launcher has better perks, so let's have a quick look. The main differences are the blinding grenades which give a blinding effect on detonation, but it massively reduces blast radius. This perk is ideal for direct impact shots, but given that grenade launchers are quite unwieldy, it makes this perk difficult to use to land near precision hits that are required to make it worthwhile. The more effective perk here would be the concussion grenades perk which does stagger enemies and increases blast radius. This one is similar to the Dead Orbit reward offering too. The trait however is the field prep perk which gives a faster reload speed when crouching and this is very noticeable and will make this one of the fastest reloading grenade launchers in the game when you are crouched. So just looking at these two weapons I would say that harsh language is better overall just for the reload speed alone but with the better grenade perks giving you a bigger option depending on your playstyle, this does win hands down over the Dead Orbit offering of the Truth Teller. Plus, once you do pick this weapon up and you have the Cerulean Divide Shader, apply it and there you go, you have a Dead Orbit looking weapon and an all around better version of the Truth Teller. Now I know that grenade launchers are not great at the moment and it seems that Bungie are trying their hardest to put people off of Dead Orbit by offering poor weapons in general. But if you really want the Dead Orbit offering then this is a great alternative choice without the need to grind for all them faction tokens. So there you go, doing this mission will free you up to pledge for one of the other two factions and a chance at obtaining their offerings, both of which look awesome and have some cool perks too. Which is difficult to say that about the rather bland looking Dead Orbit grenade launcher. It's highly likely it'll be a close battle again anyway, but if you help spread the word of this free version of the Dead Orbit offering, then it may open up other players' eyes to the great weapons available elsewhere from the other factions. Please let me know what you think about this grenade launcher option in the comments section below and whether you'll be picking Dead Orbit to grind for this grenade launcher. Please like and subscribe for more future Destiny 2 content, find me on Twitch and also follow me on Twitter. Thanks for watching, cheers.